Good morning, everybody. How are we doing this morning? Well, as you can see, I have been just a little bit busy this morning. I've been working out here in the pasture. Oh, cow, get off of there. Cleaning it up. Uh, we haven't done this in quite some time, and I have scraped all of the manure up in a pile that is out there in the pasture and it's uh well it's quite a bit so we have several things to do today um we need a manure spreader that is a definite we definitely have to have a manure spreader because that is a lot of manure and we do have places that we can spread it and uh, attempt to get rid of some of it but as you know we definitely don't have one we also have a large quantity of slurry so we're going to start using that uh, in the near future um, at the moment, nothing has really changed. We just lost a little bit of money due to production costs and a little bit of rent, you know, on various things that we have. Um, we need to check the chickens and see how they're doing. Looks like they're producing eggs quite nicely. Yeah, they're going to need some more food. So let's get on that first uh, we don't want them running out of food let's see, grab my garden hose here we're gonna spray this out since we just got done using it with manure we don't want those two mixing and while we're at it we'll just go ahead and spray off that tractor it looked a little dirty okay let's put the garden hose back okay well, back into the tractor we were just in. Um, yep, if you haven't noticed, uh, the 7810 now has the uh, now has the whoa, I about ran that over. That lifted up. Now has the front loader on it. And we are using it on a regular basis. Um, it's got a little bit more power, a little bit more umph. Uh, I don't know if it has any more weight, but we'll take what we can get right now. Let's fill this up. Okay. Then we'll get over here and dump this into the chicken pan. That way our chickens are doing okay. Um, yeah, we definitely don't want them running out of food. That that would be a really, really bad deal. So let's uh, bring it over here. There we go. Let's see how much... Oh, oh we got to pick up the little bit we spilled there. I didn't think I was going to spill any, but apparently I am. Okay, let's see here. Yep, we don't need that laying around. So, now they have a completely full pan, or uh, completely full food. We'll go dump this back in so that we can reuse it later. Uh, it's not a big deal, no biggie at all. We'll just get this dumped off, and then, uh, yeah, I think we'll uh, start our hunt for a manure spreader. Now, I've already called down this morning and found out that there is not a manure spreader available through the dealership. Uh, at least, not one we can afford. But I do have a line on a used manure spreader. Um, it was given to me. They said that there was a gentleman that might have one. They weren't sure, but he might have one. Okay. 
So we're going to go look at that today and see if we can figure that out. I'm going to go inside and get the address for this place uh, that they gave me, and I'll see you here in just a few moments. Okay, got the number. We got the truck fired up, and we're going to uh, go ahead and get out of here. So I've got the address, I've got it plugged into my GPS, and we're going to go have a look at this manure spreader. Now, I guess it's been used quite a bit out on their farm. It's not in great condition, but it's not terrible. So, hopefully, it's in good enough condition that, well, let's just say we won't have to worry about it falling apart or having issues. Um, they said it's dirty. They didn't clean it up because, well, it's a muck spreader. That's all that it does is just spread manure all over. So they don't worry about it. Um, they said it'll be sitting out in a field across from the main farmhouse, but it's not actually right there at the farm. So we will have to look a little bit, but I... They said it's real easy to see. You can't miss it. They just they just put it out there in a harvested field. So I said that would be fine. I'm sure we could find it. Um, did not get an asking price. So I do not know what they are asking for this thing. I just know that it's considerably cheaper. Um, I guess they tried to trade it in at the dealership, and the dealership just wasn't really going to give them anything for it, so it kind of worries me a little bit, but I, I think we'll be okay. I, I, I really do. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am a little worried about it, but I think we should be okay on this. Okay, so i got to start paying attention up here for our road that we have to take. It's up here somewhere. Maybe it's this one. Let's find out. I think I think it is. I think it's this one right here. Because we gotta cross the river and then First left. Oh, I think I see it out there in the field. Uh, at least I think that's it. And this would be the first left, and that is a harvested field, so we could have the right place. But I do believe it's this place right here. Um, let's see. Yep. There's... Because there's a farm right there, so this must be the main farmhouse right here. Um, let's, uh, let's have a look at it real quick. Well, it's definitely been used, and used quite a bit. Uh, it's uh, old New Holland 185. Tires look pretty worn down. But for what we need, that's probably not a problem. Let's see. Eh, it don't look terrible. Uh, it doesn't look like the grease zerks or nothing's worn out. Belt still across there looks good. How about up in it here? Yeah, the main, the main control is... Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um... I'll go see what they want for it for sure, and if it's reasonable, well, we're just going to buy it and drag it home. So, let's go find out. Okay, that wasn't too bad. $3,000 for the muck spreader. I'm definitely not going to argue with that one. That was pretty darn cheap. So, we are paid for, and uh, we're going to hook up to this. And uh, see if we can't drag it home here real quick. There we go. Make 
sure we got everything we needed here. Yeah, it was able to plug in. I had uh, all the connections I needed. Of course, can't plug the PTO in, but it's secure where it is. So, uh, yeah, let's head towards home. Uh, we'll also be able to tell how it runs by how it uh, pulls home. I think it'll be okay. So, boy, some beautiful countryside up here. Some nice looking fields. A little far away from where we're at. Um, it's kind of on the other end of the county. But, wouldn't be bad. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see you at home. All right, we are pulling back into the yard. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, drop this off over here. I think right here will be good enough. Okay. And then... We'll go ahead and put it over here. Or go ahead and put the truck away shouldn't be needing it anymore today. If I can learn how to drive all of a sudden. There we go. That's better. That should be good enough. Close that garage door down. Um, I don't know what the horsepower requirement of this is, but... I think we will try the uh, Jubilee on it first since it's we're going to be needing it in order to uh, fill it. So we'll see if this can pull it first off. Um, like I said, I know it's older. Oh, actually, nope. We're going to go put this down here by the gate. Um, yeah, I didn't think about that too much. What I could do set this down, take that off, set this barrel weight on the concrete. There we go. And now we can hook the Jubilee up to it. And we can load it up with uh, with manure. Let's back up to it here. There we go. It actually hooks up very nicely. Right size PTO and everything. So, we'll pull down in here. Get ourselves positioned. And uh, we'll go get the other tractor to load it up. I think we'll just uh, circle around the pile here. Don't know if this is the smartest way to do it, but we're going to try to make it work. There we go. Okay. Now we can run over and grab the other tractor, and uh, we can just leave it out there. The cattle won't mess with it. But we'll go ahead and grab it, get it hooked up. There we go. All right. All righty. I do believe this thing could use a little bit of touch-up paint, but I guess for now it's fine. Okay. That all hooked up. Get our counterbalance here.
Okay. Down into the muck we go. Oh. I forgot I put the fence back up. You know our cattle are pretty good. They don't really like to take off. Just got to watch them every now and then. They look at it and start to get ideas. So. Well, let's see here. Oops. Get that down. And we'll start lifting this up. I think I made a pretty decent setup here for me just to roll right over and dump. Yeah, I could have gone forward a little bit more. Oh, missed the spreader a little bit. I thought I was close enough. I guess I wasn't. We'll have to grab that little bit right there that I dropped. Can't believe I did that. I guess it happens. There we go. Okay. Go in for another scoop here and we'll get this filled up. You know, now that we got the... Uh, these two tractors, this works out pretty good. A couple of smaller tractors to do the chores around the uh, farm, and a couple, whoop, a couple of larger ones to do the other. Well, now I'm just making a heck of a mess. Can't be having that. Okay. There we go. I don't know how much this holds, but I assume we'll get to a point where it just won't take any more. Oh. I really don't need to be up on that pile. Let's we'll see if we can't get that corner taken out here. There we go. Okay, let's just get this corner right here. getting quite a bit in there and I've kind of lost count how many bucketfuls that we put in I mean I wish there was a faster way but there really is not this is just honestly about the fastest way I mean it took me a rather long time the other night and this morning you know scraping all this up um, boy to be honest with you, I'm kind of tired of loader work. But this tractor seems to uh, be a little bit slower with the loader than the other one is. I don't know why. Probably because of power and other restrictions. But it does the job. It gets it done. Just, you know, hey, we're, we're not having really any issues. Um... I have a feeling with as many hours as on this, probably could use with a really good service, I think. Okay. That looking, it's looking pretty full here. I, th I think we're getting close. There we go. I do believe there are some better tools I could have for this, but I just don't have the money for them. It would be nice to have like a loader or uh, a telehandler for this kind of work, but, you know, maybe in the future I could have it. But right now it's just not there. Okay, it's got to be getting pretty darn full. Um, and I hope, I really do hope that this will uh, 
will help. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of these flies flying around this manure kind of got close to my mouth and I didn't want to choke on one of them. But soon, hopefully, we'll have this uh, filled up. And then we can start spreading right away. Another full bucket. Um, I think if I had a little bit bigger bucket, that would help a lot too. But, oh, there we go. Now we got our full up. Well, we'll go ahead and set this down and fill the bucket just in case we have to come back for more. I'm pretty sure we probably will. I imagine there'll be several trips. There we go. We'll just leave it just like that. Okay, let's get into the Jubilee. Oh, listen to that belt squeak. You know it's a good day when the belt squeaks first thing in the morning. Okay. We'll close that up. There we go. Okay, off to that field of grass that we cut the other day. Um, we need, before we start working on it, we need to really pay some attention to it and get it fertilized. And then this field right here that we cultivated the other day, we need to put some fertilizer on it too. So we're just going to go ahead and fertilize both of those fields. Um, using the muck spreader here. If there's enough. If there isn't, then we'll do as much as we can. I, I really don't know how far this is going to get us. I mean, there's a pretty fair amount in there. Let's see, let's open that up. There, there's a decent amount in there. And uh, we definitely, uh, before we start ripping this ground up, we definitely want to, um, to at least get something down to start a layer anyway. Okay, here we go. Let's see how wide do we need to be. I don't think it has a super wide width. But, it seems to be doing a very good job of spreading it out. Uh, it's going rather quickly, though. I see there's quite a bit of it going. But, oh, maybe we don't have enough power. This hill's kind of kind of getting us a little bit, isn't it? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. That's, that's better. Okay, okay. It was just struggling on that hill a little. But maybe it'll go farther than I think it will. Uh, I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping that it'll go a fair distance here. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this. And we'll see you all here in just a little bit.
All right, everybody. Well, the poo is not going as far as we thought it would, but we still got plenty left. Um, I think once we finish this field that we're on right now, we probably will be either out or very close to being out of manure. So I think, oh, watch out, cow. Nope, wrong way, cow. Look out. I think once we get to that point, then uh, we're just going to uh, basically stop with that. Okay, let's go ahead and refill here. Oh, having trouble with those gears. Probably looking at a transmission rebuild eventually. Look out, cow. Oh, no, not my tire. Oh, well. Obviously didn't hurt the cow, so. All right. We'll go ahead and get this loaded the rest of the way all the way back up here. I think we might have maybe one and a half left, I think, uh, loads of manure here. And then at that point, <clears throat> excuse me, boy, them flies, I'll tell you. At that point, I'm not sure what we're going to be up against because... I think we're over halfway done. In fact, I'm pretty darn sure we are over halfway done. Um, after looking at the weather, I noticed that we do have some rain coming in. And um, I really don't want to be fighting with uh, manure in rain. It becomes a very slippery situation. that yeah I just I don't want to deal with so I'm hoping we get this done and we can get the field turned before the rain comes in because if we don't get it turned before the rain comes in then that stuff's just going to be slimy on top but then again that might not be a bad thing either That might get some of those uh, nutrients that are in the manure down into the soil really good. Okay. There we go. We're kind of on a slope there. I should have should have piled this more central, but I didn't. It's kind of my fault. But we'll make it work. Ooh, come on. Still got quite a few, quite a few buckets here. Just might be a little harder to get to for a little bit. I guess I haven't looked up at the sky just to see, but it's starting to get pretty dark off in the distance. Um, oh, look out, cow. Well, new steak dinner. It's okay, I like steak. Steak and ice cream. Ah, uh, did I really say that? Not together, of course. Steak dinner first, ice cream afterwards, you know. Okay. Oh, well, that cow's laying down. I must have actually felt that one. Okay, let's see. We must be getting close here.
got this on this darn hill ground. Nope, don't dump it back out. Now I'll come for back back for that later. Finish that little bit off. There we go. That must have been a heavy one. Okay. Think about one more bucket, I believe. Should have it. Let's see if we can get that here. There we go. We got it. No worries. We're slowly getting it. On a bright note, our cows are reproducing. And uh, we do have a few more cattle than we had at the beginning. Okay. Probably never get that fixed. Let's get a move in here. We don't have too much to do. Just got to get back over there and uh, get it spread. Try to get it worked in and go from there. So... We'll see you here in a little bit. Hello, Liza. How do you do? I'm writing you a letter. I hope it reaches you. I know it's been a long time since you heard from me. I'm still kicking around here in Tennessee. I heard you got a new place. I heard you got a new job I heard you got a haircut And it looks real nice Well, there we go. The field is complete. So, that being said, we're going to run back over here to the house, drop this off, and, uh, man, looking at the time, may not have time to get stuff done just a lot to be done right now there's some uh, pretty good things that we just have to get done and we just don't have a lot of time to get them done in but that's okay we're gonna take this as it is so thank you for being here this morning I'm sure we'll be back a little bit later um, for the poo brigade It was uh, a lot of fun for anybody else but me. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.